Ken, Ken Wu, we're here uh, today at the Montreal Arts Center in the John McDougall Bar, and I want to welcome you to both uh, Montreal. No, but you live here now, right? Uh, uh, well, I live an hour away, so I haven't spent a lot of time in Montreal. Okay, but you're originally from uh, Vancouver out in Victoria. Yeah, 20 plus years, 30 years almost now, Victoria, right. Vancouver. Listen, we're very happy to have you and your, and your people from your organization here tonight. Uh, we're uh, celebrating uh, the um, COP15 conference here and you're here with your guests to talk about uh, something which is uh, very important to, which is uh, you know saving the forest lands and what I found was interesting how it connects uh, with our building because our building was built with Douglas fir in 1875 and I uh, from I didn't know this but you explained that it's a, a very very rare wood today that's an amazing thing. So you've got like, what is it, 150 year old Douglas fir beams here. And Douglas fir is the, um, one of the rarest old growth trees found only in British Columbia and a little bit of Alberta. But it's the coastal Douglas firs where, uh, which are actually at one time were the tallest trees on earth That's in amazing. North Van. Uh, that that built a lot of the uh, infrastructure for early uh, British Columbia and apparently out here as well. And somebody told me the other day that most of the buildings of that period in Montreal were built from that wood. Interesting. So it was shipped yeah. around the country then. Yeah, yeah. It's such especially wood. in Griffintown because the the Industrial Revolution of Canada started in this district uh, in the between the 1820s to the 1850s. Most of the immigrants coming from Europe and from uh, Ireland primarily, there's a very big Irish community that lived here in the 1850s. They came and uh, followed by... Uh, Eastern European, Polish, and uh, Ukrainian. And, uh, this area was um, more English-speaking in those days, but it was all uh, European, settled uh, uh, from European people. And uh, But these buildings were all built, um, mainly, I understand, from uh, wood from BC. What happened to all this wood? Why Was it just cut down for industry? And Where Vancouver is today, They've annihilated 99% now of the old growth Douglas firs. At one time, the, um, it's reputed, at least, uh, that the Douglas firs, and there's some measurements there, uh, in the Lynn uh, Canyon, just if you go to Vancouver in North Van, you've got the Lynn headwaters, there were trees, Douglas firs, that were over 400 feet tall. The biggest redwoods today are like in the th high 300s. So Amazing. they were bigger, taller than even the redwoods. We haven't even scratched the surface in British Columbia of um, what the potential could be economically, let alone environmentally, for endangered species, for clean water, for the climate, for indigenous cultures that evolved with um, uh, with with uh, old growth forests. Say in Montreal, I, I just saw the, the Notre Dame Cathedral, by the way, with my daughter. Spectacular! Imagine knocking that down and, and using it for its parts. So you're looking for people from the province of Quebec to help your organization because yeah. it, tra it transcends the whole country, obviously. And yeah, and actually around the world, you've got conservationists who've converged in uh, Montreal as well. Um, so uh, you know, I wonder what the tropical um, participants are thinking of the winter today, but the, we, we would like to have people, um, you know, learn about the key parts of our campaign. Well, yeah. look, Ken, I thank you so much for being with us tonight, and I hope that uh, uh, your uh, team here is enjoying our, uh, our place. There's a lot to see here yes. at the Art Center. Uh, you know, we celebrate a lot of history in this building, which dates back to the 1870s, and uh, we have a full museum, and tour for people to visit us. We're uh, open all year round. So do come and visit us again. Yes. And um, anytime you want to come here and work on your good cause, we're all for it because this wood is here. It's been here for 140 plus years and it's not going anywhere. Yeah. And we're happy to have it. And uh, we're sad to hear that there's very little of it left. <laughs> so thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me here. And I can testify it's one of the greatest venues I've, I've, we've ever held. Actually, the greatest venue for is well, spectacular. That's a, that's a great compliment. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. Okay. We appreciate it.